Welcome to St John's Kirk Cemetery, folks. Yeah, guys, we never thought we would actually make it to this point, but we've actually done two locations today. Why not just do a third? So this is actually a spot of um, Commonwealth War Graves. And it says on Google Maps that it's closed, but uh, it's obviously open. Now, I think that there must have been a church here at one time. There was a church here at one time, a chapel or something. As you can see here, this must have been like uh, the entrance. Because look at the weird kind of... Look at that. Look at that tree. That tree has grew. Good God. There's the war graves there. And we're quite lucky. I quite came across this one actually. I didn't care about this. It was actually a friend that told me about it. He's actually in Australia. Thank you, Alex, for telling us about this area. There's the the the, the graveyard vehicle over there. Sure is, aye. <laughs> you smell that? There's an awfully strong smelly fish, and I don't understand it because we're we're about what 50, 60 miles inland, 70 miles inland. Strange. Yeah, I know. Right, first we'll go to this one. Hey, Adam Lindsay, late of St John's Kirk. Memory of his wife, Barbara Brown, who... There's something posted. <laughs> Was that another cut? Don't Robin know, just... Simonton, who died in 1926, age 77. And the, the said Adam, Adam Lindsay, who died, born with Frankerton, 20th of September 1927, aged 77 years. Right, thank you very much, Alan. But look at this, we've actually got great uh, war graves here, so... You know, I've drove past this for years and I've never, ever, ever noticed it. Right, we'll do the first one. What's this? Polish, is that Polish? It's Polish, uh huh? KPTI Zore Co, 19th November. 1948, Polish forces. Bomb E. Kargliske. One D on Art Mott. 29th October 1948, Polish forces. I wonder if this was a unit that all died in the same unit. Yes, sir. MJR, MJ Wielski. EWO, One Corp. 13th October 1948, 40, Polish forces. ECH Hor W Sivinsky to Beyond Strats 5th of October 1948 Polish Forces. My God. Uh, KPLJ Lasota Suze JP 30th August 1948 Polish Forces. Bomb W Salatsky. The CWR, 20th of July 1940, age 38, Polish forces. Yeah, that must have been, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, that must have been a, a unit that must have been... The fighting Germans. Yeah, the fighting so. Germans or something like that. I need to look into that, actually, because there's no much information on them. Actually, I know I know someone that may be able to find out who they are and who the, what they were doing at the time when they get killed, so I need to ask them okay. they'll look into it. Save is going in, I'll just zoom up. Remember, guys, just pause it because it's starting to get really late now and it's getting chilly, one would say. See the sun going down? Yeah. I want this video around about maybe 10 15 minutes long. Quite an interesting one, isn't it? Masonic. It sure is. Do you know how clear that is? Oh, yeah, it's all clear. Yeah. I'll read that after on the big screen. That's why I try and.
Is that like a wee crypt or something that's in up, up there? See the horseshoe? I missed that, there was writing on the back of that there. Can't really make it out. Blank. Oh, it's cold yet, isn't it? I'll get in here in a minute, I just want to have a quick Why is that smell? you smell that? It's, it's, like, it's really strong, like somebody's got, maybe there's a, must be a smoke cow shouldn't be here maybe? Must be Smoking yeah. fish or something? Yeah. Look at this, this looks not the safest. Oh, no, this is interesting. You worried, Alan? Or uh, you know? In remembrance of Kathleen Ralston, the beloved wife of John Walk, born Balverne, 8th of May 19. 1845 died at Moffat on the 5th of February 1905. Also above John Wall, born 15th of November 1836, died 8th of April 1909. In memory of John Wall, Esquire of Newcastle upon Tyne, born 1870, died 1944. 8th Hitherly laboured St George's Kirk in honour of his son Kenneth Affleck Wall, ID. Major Loyal, Royal Artillery Late of the Kinloch, Tychus and Ruchloy. Morvain Argyle, to, uh, 40th, 10th Hereditary Lord of St John's Kirk, born 1905, died in 1973, and of his wife Ursula E. Pickard of Leicester. Mm -hmm. Eternity be thou my refuge. No, obviously, we're not reading them the more, guys, because some of them are just unreadable. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why we kind of see with our eyes, but on the camera it seems to be. Do that. Oh, very. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we've got this one. This one looks quite. Was that 1806? Uh -huh. The last one was 1808. In affection, remembrance of John Wall of St. John Kirk, born uh, the 5th of June 1905, died 23rd of January 1883. Janet Somerville, his wife, born 22nd of April 1806, died 12th April 1895. James Harrison, their son, Born the 7th October 1843, died 22nd of May 1861. Christina, their daughter, born. Was there more than the bomb? September 1828, died 20th of January 1908. And there's just like a kind of wee thing at the bottom, don't you? The resurrection and the life. And this one here, Alan, before we head out in here. In loving memory of William Walk of St John's Kirk, born 2nd of July 1830, died 30th. Or 8th of March 18, 1928, also his wife Isabella Horst, born 12th of April 1869, died 5th of February 1951. Look at that. You can see this has been the remnants of an old chapel or something here. See that? Oh, that's right. Something's built its nest in there. I sure have. Unless there's a tree at the other end. Right. Keep it. Wow, that's strong, that smell, isn't it? Sure is. I see that. But if there's nothing on that side, it's the ivy, that's it's part of the... But there, there must have been a huge church here or something at one point. Mm -hmm. And they've just built over the top of it. Right. I'll go up to this bit in a minute. Wow, that smell is over isn't it? That it really oh my God. Jesse Forsyth Walson, wife of Robert Somerville Walk, born 21st of March. 1839 died, died the 4th of January 1899. George's son, uh, Gavin, 24th of June, born 1868, taken 17th of July 1868. 
good. Catherine Wilson, their daughter, born to its ID April 1870, died 21st of July 1908. Right, and Robert Walk, born 8th of November 1839, died 8th, 30th of July 1914, and their daughter, Jessie Silver Walk, born 1st of December 1874, died 2nd uh, of June 1954. Right, let's get up here done and we can the book for that one, so that. Can we do it? Yep. Right, I'm tracing that. Getting cold, there's a really old one there. I'll read it after. Sorry about the traffic, guys, but a lot of people are getting home for their um, work. work. And it's there, it's a wee angel, a little girl and an angel. Well, this is certainly an interesting graveyard, isn't it? See, there's like an old like, castle or something up there, see that? Mm -hmm. It's kind of in ruin. I'll just pause this after and read it. It's... So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed the walk round. Uh, St John's Kirk Cemetery. Very good. Very good, Alan. See, there's another one there, but it's yeah. obviously lost its. Just watch if we come here, guys. Don't park in the main road. There's a road over there where you can see my car. And it's like a wee slip road. Just park in there. It's much, much safer. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this. Look at this, this must have been the exit into the, the church itself. Okay. So, this is the location, guys, if you want to come. And Alan will say... Cheery bye. Cheery bye, everybody, and have a fantastic weekend. Catch you later, dudes. Bye.